Melissa Volkowski teaches journalism at Douglas High School. She hid with 19 students in a closet during the shooting. All of them made it out safely. Melissa, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. I know you had such a, a long, a long night. Just let us know how you're feeling this morning. Um, I'm not really sure. I, um, I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, mostly I just feel grateful that I got to go home to my family when many others didn't get to that. You had such a presence of mind to get your children and put them in a, in a closet. Was that just instinct? Um, I think that that really speaks to, you know, the training that we had. Um, we had a training about a month ago and, you know, we talked about, you know, these different scenarios and, and what to do. And so, you know, once we made it to the classroom and, you know, it, we heard the sirens and the helicopters and it, it was very obvious based on the time that it was happening that it wasn't a drill. Um, you know, I just made the decision that that was, you know, another layer um, between us and, and whoever, you know, was the active shooter. And so, you know, we just moved into the closet and we were there for a while until the SWAT team came to get us. Melissa, it's 19 students and you in a small closet and you're hearing gunfire and helicopters and sirens. I can't imagine what those moments were like. How were the students holding up? How were you holding up? Um, I mean, we were um, we were on the opposite side of the building from you know where the the shooting was happening, so we didn't hear any gunfire, um, but we could hear you know the helicopters and you know the kids. Some of them, you know, they were hysterical from you know moment one, um, and so it's just you know trying to keep them calm and telling them that they're going to be okay and everything's going to be okay, and you know just knowing that it doesn't really matter, you know, like what I'm feeling in that moment, but like they need to, you know, be calm and, and, and feel like they're gonna be okay. And, you know, that's my, that, that's my job. I, I just did my job. You did your job, but mm -hmm. I know there was a moment when you called your mom mm -hmm. and that must have been heart wrenching. Yeah, my, my mom actually, she called me and I, you know, when I picked it up and then in that moment I, sort of lost my composure and I told her I was okay but I had to you know get off the phone because I, I I didn't I, you know she needed to know I was okay but the kids needed me to be composed and so you know it, it's hard to in that moment to stay composed so you know I sort of got off the phone with her and then you know recomposed and, and carried on. There were so many um, so many casualties in this and I was just wondering if, if you knew any of the students who passed away, were you close with any of them? Um, you know, they haven't really released um, the names, so I only know, you know, kind of what I'm, I'm hearing, you know, through rumors and, and the grapevine, so I, I know that there are some former students and current students that I have that, that may have had siblings that they, you know, that they lost um, in the shooting, and um, I don't think that you know, there's any one of us at the school in this community that isn't going to be affected, know someone who's affected, know a student, know one of the faculty members, um, and feel that, you know, sense of, of loss. Melissa, you did everything right. You did exactly what they told you. You knew the drills. You put the kids in the right place. And yet this happened anyway. So what, what, are, what message do you have, given all that? Um, I just think, you know, I've... I've seen this on TV, we all have, you know, this shooting after shooting and, you know, there's always the same thing is said, you know, it's not the time to talk about gun control, it's not the time, it's time to pray for the families and I just think that that hasn't gotten us anywhere. I mean, here we are and we're like the latest statistic on, you know, on school violence and as a society, you know, as Americans, we're failing our children, we're not keeping them safe and Congress is failing us and the government is failing us and something has to be done. Melissa Falkowski, a teacher at Douglas High School, as Hoda said, Melissa, you did it all right yesterday. Thank you for your bravery, and um, our hearts are with you. Thank you.